Before the fuel subsidy regime ended, it was heavy toll on government finances, leaving little space for other national development priorities. That is why the Nigeria Institute of Social and Economic Research, NISA, in Ibadan, or your state, is bringing together experts to discuss about the positive and direct impact of fuel subsidy removal on the citizens. Subsidies kept the price at the Director General NISA, Professor Antonia Simbene, notes that a resolution of the fuel subsidy conundrum with its attendant racketeering and corruption was long overdue and government took the right and bold step to end payment of subsidy for petroleum. As is typical of subsidy programs across the world, and especially in developing countries, the foreign subsidy regime increasingly led to unconscionable racketeering and a cesspool of corruption. Nisa DG, however, agree that governments must find a way to reduce the direct harsh realities the masses are currently contending with. The whole idea behind subsidy removal is that we can free money from that kind of a program into other activities that will impact the welfare of people. Activities like education, health, uh, security, and the like. The keynote address by Professor Adiola Adeni Kinju, head of the Department of Economics, University of Ibadan, where he indicates that rather than the poor being cajoled to believe that they would suffer the most over fuel subsidy removal. What the president has done is to address critically the, those bleeds, those, those, those wounds, so that you know the patient can survive. So Nigeria has no other option. You know, at this time, apart from what the president has done. Professor Adeni Kinju reveals that the rich and smugglers greatly benefited from the subsidy. What is happening now is also it's also sending signal to the to the market. Okay? The markets, investors and suppliers are now seeing oh, where are the opportunities that to come in. So in addition to what government is going to do, you're going to see the you know private investors, entrepreneurs also catching to provide you know alternatives you know, and opportunities for the government, you know, for, for, for the public to come in. Panelists at the seminar themed fuel subsidy removal, the why, how and way forward, questioned the palliative provided to cushion the effects of fuel subsidy removal. Concerning implementation, the panelists expressed their fears over sincerity of purpose as trust has been in short supply. Initially, the government did not announce anything of such. It was when the pressure was too much on them from the Labour side, they now said these are what we have in place. It's a good thing we embrace it, but we are afraid of the implementation. There have been a lot of promises here and there from the past administrations. So our fear is hope the same thing will not, uh, uh, it wouldn't be business as usual. The forum agrees that all hands must be on deck to right the several wrongs by the government, plug loopholes that encourage corruption to fester and allow the citizens to begin to trust the government again.